am Adrian, and welcome to Kiwi's Crochet Corner. Um, if you are new to my channel, um, I usually do yarn and crochet content. Occasionally, I'll talk a little bit about knit. Some haven't finished or some haven't figured out how to do that yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. Um, and if you're not new to my channel and you've been watching for a while, thanks for coming in. Uh, thanks for, you know, keeping up with my channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it. Good morning, guys, and happy Whip Wednesday. Um, so this week I got quite a bit to show you. Um, I'm going to start with my finished objects. Um, if you're new to the channel, thanks for coming by, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, the way this usually works is I will show you guys my finished objects and then I will show you some of the projects that I have planned to work on this week and we'll talk a little bit about them. Um, all of the patterns that I show you um, will all be in the description box in case you're interested in working on them as well. That little guy over here, that's Kiwi. Um, you want to come down? No? You got to sit up there? Okay. So, the first finished object I have is uh, this cute little Elmo hat, y'all. So, I had one of these um, Sesame Street One Hat Wonders. I had actually won it uh, last year uh, from Crystal from Bag of Day in, her, in, in one of her uh, Christmas in July giveaways. And I've never worked with this yarn before. There was only 95 yards in the Elmo ball, and I wasn't sure if it was going to be enough to make like a child size hat. I know it's meant to be enough, but I wasn't entirely sure. So I did this, I, I, I used some white and did some stripes. Um, now the color part is 100% polyester, and then of course the white part is 100% um, acrylic. It's just some that I pulled out of my uh, scrap yarn stash. And then the One Hat Wonders come with these little these little things, which I guess she's supposed to put um, on in place of a pom-pom. Now, I wasn't entirely sure how to put, put it on because all the pom-poms that I've ever worked with have an elastic loop that you just draw through after you sew a uh, you sew a button on the inside of the hat and then you just draw that elastic loop around that button so the pom-poms are removable but this one didn't have that so um, I just took some black thread and sewed him on there so that is my first finished object for this whip Wednesday and then I don't know if you guys can see it but I actually took and did some surface um, slip stitching along the edge between this stripe and the brim. Um, I thought it gave it a little bit of character. Um, now, I can't sell this in my Etsy shop because it is a copyrighted character. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this guy. Um, but I'll come up with something, I'm sure. Maybe I can donate it. Or if somebody out there has a child or maybe a grandbaby who is in love with Elmo, shoot me an email and maybe I can send it out to you. You to come down here? You want to sit with me? This guy's sitting on my tutorial arm, just barely out of view. <laughs> so the next thing that I finished this week, you guys have been watching me work on this for quite a while is my Hidden Truths Poncho, which is designed by Bag O'Day Crochet. Um, and it's finally finished. I used five cakes of Big Twist Skyline on this. Um, I hope you guys can hear me over the rain. Um, and Big Twist Skyline was a, a, a weight one yarn, so I actually had to adjust the starting chain amount um, to make this pattern work with that thin a yarn. 
So that's how this one came out. Um, it's about 32 inches long from from here to the bottom. Um, as soon as I get a new phone, I'll be able to take pictures and get these, get the ponchos in the shop. Um, the other thing was this, um, it's another bag of day, uh, poncho. This one is the, um, springtime poncho. And usually I work, work these while I'm at work. Um, I use Shauna Ball, and this colorway is called Peaceful Earth. Again, once I get, what? Once I get, uh, a new camera in, I'll be putting these, this one in the shop as well. And this one is, I would say, probably about 30 to 32 inches in length. So, y'all... Y'all let me know in the comments below which one you liked better. Um, which of those two ponchos you guys liked better. Um, now, for whips, oh, I also have this diamond painting that's been sitting here for like months because I thought I lost all the pieces and then I realized I know exactly where the pieces are. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, so I've got several whips here that I'm working on um, and that I have plans to work on this week. Um, in one of my Whip Wednesday videos, I had talked about a little pug puppy that I was going to crochet up for my boss because he really likes pugs. Um, and he's got like a whole pack of them. <laughs> at his house. Anyways, I don't have much of that, much of it completed, but here is the face. Um, it's coming along pretty nicely. Now these are 27 millimeter. It's, they're 27 millimeter. Let me, let me pull them out. They are, the nose is 27 millimeters and then the eyes are 24 millimeter. I don't know if you guys can see the glitter. They're kind of gold glittery eyes and I picked these up. I picked the eyes up uh, at, at Amazon as like a set of several different sizes and several different colors. But the noses, or the nose, was uh, some, it was one of a pack of 25 that I got from a company called GlassEyesOnline.com and I will link them below as well. I'm not affiliated with them or anything, um, but if you need some puppy dog noses, that's what they look like. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, that's what they look like uh, for any of your Amigurumi projects they do have some. I don't remember how much I paid for these. I want to say I only paid like 40, I want to say it was like 43 cents per nose or something and then I got a pack of of uh, 25 so you know and then shipping and handling. It wasn't very much. I remember it wasn't it wasn't much at all. Um, so that is one of the whips I'm working on. And then this week, instead of doing another springtime poncho, um, I opted to do a different poncho pattern by Crystal, designed by Crystal from Bag o Day. And it is a much lighter weight uh, pattern. Um, I'll link it, like I said, I'll link all the patterns below, but um, here is the one that I chose to work on for my work poncho. I call it my work poncho, but it's it's just the ponchos that I'm working on when I'm at work and it's slow. Um, and I'm actually using uh, 
a Dahlia Summer Cake that I got a few years ago. They are 100% cotton. I don't know if you guys can see those. These cakes were sold um, a few years ago for a limited time on Hobie. Um, so they're, as far as I know, they're not available now. They might come back, um, you know, here in a couple months. Um, I'm not sure. I know each year they do the Halloween ones, the, the Halloween Dahlia on Hobie, um, which I have several of those as well. Um, I don't know if they're going to be bringing the summer limited edition ones back, though. But And I don't know... They, they use color numbers, which this one is color number three, so I don't really know what it's called, but it started out as a pale pink, and now it's kind of getting into like a neon orange pink, um, and it goes out to a really neon orangey, it's not, it's not showing up too terribly well on the camera, I don't know, I never know how to make the colors show up properly, oh, that's not good at all. How about that? Nope. 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 How about, how about if I turn it down a little bit, maybe? That's probably as close as it's going to get um, as far as showing the proper color of this thing. I think it's going to be black light reactive, and if I can get, hello Kiwi, if I can get a black light, I might take some pictures of this poncho when it's finished under the black light. I was thinking this pattern would be good to go over the top of a bikini or something. Um, the pattern does uh, call for fringe. Of course, it's not required, but I thought that would look really good over the top of a bikini or something or a bathing suit. But you can see it's a light pink and it's starting to go towards the neon pink down here um, so that's what I'll be working on at work when it's slow I just decided to kind of change up which poncho pattern I was gonna work on <laughs> so the last project I do that I have to show you guys that I've been working on here at the house um, is and I've only got I've got part of the sleeve here to show you guys it's a Tunisian project um, designed by, it's a Tunisian knit stitch project is what it is, and it's designed by Moral Fiber, and this is one of the sleeves. Um, if you're not familiar with Tunisian knit stitch, it is a type of crochet that actually mimics the uh, look of knitting. And I've showed this project a few times on my channel. Um, because it's been such a long-term project. This is just one of the sleeves, and I still have about 20 more rows to go, and you can see at the bottom it's curling, and with, that's typical of Tunisian knit stitch. Um, but, like I said, this has been a really long-term project. So, the back panel this piece was actually the back panel, and then I've got a, the side panel here, and then another side panel. Um, and then it's it, all of these comes to, to they, they come to a point, um, and I believe I am on cake number six or seven out of a total of nine I am using um, Lion Brand Mandala uh, in the colorway um, Warlock if you're not familiar with these um, they are a lightweight three I think most people are familiar with them but they're lightweight three and you get 590 yards in each cake unless you get their bonus bundle which is double that amount so I started this project sometime last year, and like, this is the outside of the, of the jacket, but if you turn it on the inside, Tunisian Knit Stitch makes this lovely little, these lovely ridges on the inside, or I guess what you would call the wrong side. So, um, 
that's what it looks like on the wrong side and then of course that's the right side um, but I decided to pick this back up again I had put it down for a little while to um, just take a break from it because it is such a long-term project um, the size that I'm making is the large version but she does have a small and a medium um, and I believe she goes up to 3x it might be three it's three or five X I know that she was working on getting those sizes out um, hopefully when I get it finished you guys can get a better idea of what it will look like but it is um, it, it's the elf coat designed by moral fiber um, so th that's one of my long-term projects that I've picked back up to try to finish up and I might, depending on how well this one turns out, I might keep this one for myself. I don't know. I haven't decided. Because I don't make stuff for myself very often at all. But I really like how this one is turning out. Um, it's got bell sleeves. Um, there's, she's got a lot of different options for it as well. Including like a corset lace, lacing in the back so that you can adjust how tight it is around you um, which I don't think I'm gonna do that um, if I do decide to do that I'm gonna look at maybe learning how to do some I cord because I've never I've never done that um, <coughs> anyways so that's what I have for whip Wednesday um, I got a lot of projects going on, some old, some new, um, you know, and the ponchos, you know, they will be available in the shop as soon as I can get pictures of them and put them in the shop if anybody is interested um, in those. Uh, if anybody has, like I said, if, if anybody has any kids in their lives who are in love with Elmo, shoot me an email. It'll be a first come first serve type deal on this guy, um, and I will ship it out to the person I, you know, the, the person who sends me an email first, because um, I really don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. But anyways, I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their Wednesday. Um, I will see you again tomorrow for what we're making Thursday. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.